Hello and welcome to The Postcard Professor, where we take complex ideas and explain them in the space of a postcard. In this video, we're going to be reading data from tables. So what I have over here to the right is just an example table for steam that links temperature and pressure with the specific volume and internal energy of the steam. And we'll have a couple of goals. First off, we're going to try and calculate the internal energy at a specific temperature and pressure. So for any state, we should know two values. And using those two values, we should be able to figure out any third value. So specifically, what we're going to do here is use linear interpolation in order to find a value that's not exactly on the table. For this first case, we're going to be finding the internal energy at a temperature of 315 Kelvin, sorry, degrees Celsius, and a pressure of one megapascal. We know from our linear interpolation video that we can find an intermediate point by using a ratio of differences. So in that video, we used y and x. In this video, we're going to use u and t. And in this case, our t is going to be like our x value because we know what value exactly we're looking for. And u is going to be like our y value. And so we're going to have delta ua over delta ub is equal to delta ta over delta tb. Now for this problem, we're reading things from the one megapascal table, which is on the right hand side here. Uh, we're trying to get u as a function of temperature. And so the 315 is gonna fall in between 300 and 350. And so these are the u values and these are the t values that we're gonna be using. Now, whenever I'm doing this, I like to draw out a separate table where I can put these values a little cleaner because we have our 300 and our 350, but what we're looking for is 315 in the middle. So we can read U directly from our table at 300, and that's 2793.6. And if we're being specific, we'd include the kilojoules per kilogram, but we just know that all of our U values are going to be in these units. And at 350, this is going to be 2875.7. And this middle value is what we're going to call U sub M. These first two points are what we're going to call our delta A's. So that's going to be both our delta UA and our delta TA. And then the delta B is going to go over the entire gap. We get that UM minus 2793.6 divided by 2875.7 minus 2793.6 is going to be equal to and our delta TA is 315 minus 300 divided by 350 minus 300. So from this, we can solve. And that solution gets us that UM is going to be equal to this 2793.6 plus, and then we'll take this entire chunk and multiply it by whatever's underneath here. So this is 15 over 50 multiplied by, this ends up being 82.1. And so with a little bit of math, we can see that UM is equal to 2818.2. And like I said, all of our units were going to be in kilojoules per kilogram. So this is KJ per KG. And that is our final answer for this little problem. So at a temperature of 315 Celsius, and one megapascal, the internal energy is 2818.2 kilojoules per kilogram. Okay, so this is one way of using the data. We're finding something that's inside the table. Another thing we can do is use the pressure and specific volume in order to find temperature. Like I said, we can use any two values in order to find any third value. And so we can also find the temperature as a function of specific volume and pressure. And specifically here, we're going to find the temperature when our specific volume is 0 0.3 meters cubed per kilogram. 
and our pressure is 0.8 megapascals. So we're reading from the 0.8 megapascal table, and we're looking for a specific volume of 0.3. Well, 0.3 is in between these two, and so the data points that we're using are these two, and then these two temperatures. So in this case, our specific volume is going to be our x, right? It's, it's going to be the thing that we know everything about. And the temperature is going to be our y. And so as we're writing this equation, our first thing is going to be delta Ta over delta Tb. And it's going to be equal to a delta volume at A over delta volume at B. And again, we're going to write out this table. So our volume goes up top, and our temperature goes on the bottom. And volume is 0 0.2932, and then 0 0.3242. The temperatures we know are 250 and 300. And then we're looking specifically for 0 0.3 meters cubed per kilogram. And the unknown value is Tm. Now again, this will be our delta A, and the full thing will be our delta B. And so our equation this time is Tm minus 250 over 300 minus 250 is going to be equal to 0 0.3 minus 0 0.2932 divided by 0 0.3242 minus 0 0.2932. Okay, so same thing as before, we're able to isolate this Tm value as equal to 250 plus this ratio, which we can calculate out. So this is 0 0.0068 divided by 0 0.0310, and that's multiplied by the denominator here of 50. And so the end result this time is that the temperature is equal to 261.0 degrees Celsius. So the important thing to recognize here is that we want the values that we actually know on the top row here and on the right hand side. And the thing that we're looking for, we always want it to be part of that upper left because that's the easiest way to solve this equation down here. Now, so far what we've done is we've stayed on one of these tables. But what happens if our pressure is not in one of those tables? So this time, let's try to find the specific volume at a temperature and pressure. And specifically, we're going to find our volume at a temperature of 412 degrees Celsius and a pressure of 0 0.91 megapascals. So this is a bit more complicated. We're going to draw this table again, but it's going to look a little bit different because we have variation in both temperature and pressure. So let's start off by putting our temperatures up top. So this is going to be 400, and then 412 is our midpoint, and 450 is the second value that we can find. So these were our temperatures, then we're going to find our pressures. So this is 0 0.8, 1.0, and 0 0.91. Okay, the values that we know are at 0 0.8 and 400. So that's 0 0.8 here down to 400. We can find the specific volume. So that's 0 0.3843. And we also know the same value at a temperature of 450 and a pressure at 0.8. So that's going to be 0 0.4139. Now we do the same for a pressure of 1. So we get 0 0.3066. And then at 450 degrees, we get 0 0.3305. Okay, so what we're going to do now is divide this into three simpler problems. So we're going to look at the temperature interpolation first. So we can say that this is our delta A, and the full distance is our delta B for temperature. And then we can use our equation, delta VA over delta VB, is equal to delta Ta over delta Tb, and follow that procedure that we used up here for this point and this point. So if we do that, we get 0 0.3914, 
at a temperature of 412 and a pressure at 0.8. And we get 0 0.3123 for a temperature of 412 and a pressure of 1. Now, we can do the exact same thing for pressure. So we're going to use these first two again as our delta A, and then the full range as our delta B. And then we'll use the equation delta VA over delta VB is equal to delta PA over delta PB. And that allows us to find this final value. Now we could go and find these values as well, but we don't need them, right? We really only need this final value in the middle. So this is 0 0.3479. And so our final result is that the specific volume at 412 Celsius and 0.91 megapascals is 0.3479. And again, we're using the units from the table, which are meters cubed per kilogram. So this right here is our final answer with the units, of course. And we are done with that procedure. So on the left-hand side over here, we have two examples of linear interpolation. We created a line in between two points, and we found a point in the middle on that line. On the right-hand side, we call this bilinear interpolation. And the reason is just because we're performing that linear interpolation procedure in two dimensions, right? So that's where we get that bilinear. In any case, I hope you find this helpful, and I will catch you next time.